Hey YouTube, Adam the Piper here. Uh, hope everybody's having a good day. I'm sitting out in my workshop slash shed today. It's a pretty good sized shed. It works good for doing the woodworking I do in it, but still kind of full of stuff from grandma and grandpa's and whatnot. We're still going through and we're just about got it to where I can work in here again. A little housekeeping. I'm smoking a is a basket pipe. I don't remember what the brand was. I was smoking a little pipe. And in it, I'm smoking some Cornell and Deals Gentleman Collar. This is a uh, blend of Virginia's Burleys, Deer Tongue, and Perique. It's uh, quite a bit like Crooner. I don't, Crooner's a cube cut. Very good tobacco as well. This is a nice ribbon, broken flake. I'm not exactly sure what you'd want to call it. It's got a little bit of everything in there. Big pieces of deer tongue. And you can smell the deer tongue and the burly right up front. Really nice, easy smoking blend. This one's probably coming up on six months old I cracked it and then I put it uh, smoked a bowl or two out of it and then I put it back in the cellar opened it up and the moisture was still spot on so anyway he said it was still going through stuff in here and came across this all of you know what it is. This is an old wooden duck decoy. Uh, it's one of my grandparents, my grandpa's. I never got to use it. It's a pretty tough shape, but still cool nonetheless. Um, kind of got me thinking about hunting when I was a kid and first few times I went out hunting uh, with some of my friends from school without a parent. Uh, one of our neighbors, he was a grade or two older than I was. I think I must have been 14. He must have been 15 or 16 because he was already driving. Uh, we went out hunting. We were going to go out pheasant hunting. <clears throat> and our neighbor uh, across the street from us borrowed me a shotgun because at the time I didn't have one so he borrowed me an old I believe it was a Winchester or Remington 22 410 over under very old wore out gun uh, so one of my friend my friend that him and I were gonna go hunting so I would go out and shoot some clay pigeons to make sure I could shoot with a shit so we went out on a really nice weekend and right before pheasant season opened up, shot clay pigeons all day long. I think we went through eight boxes of them or nine boxes. Well, time come, we finally decided we we're gonna go pheasant hunting and we're out. 10 o'clock in the morning, I believe, at the time you'd go out. Maybe it was 10 o'clock or noon, whatever. We went out right as soon as you can. Started walking through fields. Birds left and right. And he's shooting and shooting and shooting and he's getting, he's getting his birds and I'm trying and I can't get the damn gun to shoot. Pull it up to my shoulder and click nothing yes the gun was loaded he's screaming at me you know you can't hunt blah 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 well we start walking back to the car and I couldn't figure it out so I emptied the gun out let the gun sit in the car for a little bit decided we were gonna go a couple miles down the road and try another bunch of land 
So we got out. We had a fence we had to cross, so I handed him my gun. He went over first, or he went across first, and I handed him our guns, and then I come across, and we started walking. Same thing. Boom, boom. He gets his bird. I can't get my gun to fire. Pull it up to my shoulder. Click. Nothing. Thought it was the ammunition. So I grabbed some more ammunition from my other pocket because I always keep two box, two different types with me because I've had boxes of just dud, not boxes of dud, but or a few of them are duds or they don't like the temperature, they don't like the gun. So I throw another one in after I get the ass tune of a lifetime. Click, nothing. He gets mad, he's stomping back to the car and he crosses the fence on his own. He pretty much think he threw his shotgun right into the back seat of his car from the fence line. I come back, set my gun up against the fence, cross the fence, start walking back up to the car. He didn't unload the gun yet. I told the guy, I looked at him, I said, I just cannot get this thing to fire. He goes, well, you're doing something wrong. Are you sure the safety's not on? I said, I think I would know what the safety was on. He pulls it up to his shoulder, click. He gets irritated. He sets the gun down right next to the car, leans it up against the old station wagon. He goes, here, try a real gun. Hands me his 12 gauge. I walk out down the field a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. Shot my three birds, started walking back to the car. I'm on, get back up at the car. He goes, there, now you shot your birds. Now we gotta go find you a different gun. He gets irritated. He picked up my gun, looked at it again, sat it back down on the ground. Leaned it up against the car. We both walked away to get a cigarette whatever it was that we were doing just remember that gun is leaning up against the car and all of a sudden kaboom the gun decided it was going to fire loaded it up fired it four more times so next day we went out we go up back hunting he just can't figure it out gun fired just fine we shot i don't know how many rounds out of it so we took it back cleaned it up Everything you possibly could do to it. Go out the next day, same place, because it was really it was kind of a little honey hole. Kick up a bunch of birds, I shoot. Get one of my birds. Feeling pretty good about the day. I figured the gun must have just been dirty. We get a little further up, pull the gun up to my shoulder, click. By this point, I was so fed up. Start walking back to the car, put the gun up against the fence. I had to walk away from that damn gun for a little bit. Didn't unload it, had the gun on safety. Got back up to the car, kaboom! <laughs> damn gun goes off again. Took the neighbor's gun back to him afterwards and I asked him, I said, have you ever had an issue with this gun? He goes, nope. You just got to keep it clean and keep it warm. I go, why do you got to keep it warm? He goes, the firing pin's getting wore out. When it gets cold, they don't like to fire. He goes, but as soon as you set it upright, that son of a gun will go off every time. Sure enough. What did I learn from this? Don't borrow a gun from your 85-year-old neighbor because chances are it ain't going to work and it probably hasn't been maintained in 50 years. So, that being said, guys, that's just my little ramble and rant and kind of a little memory I had, so... Hope everybody has a good night, good rest of the week. I won't get to see anybody till this weekend. So, as always, thanks for watching. Happy smoking.